So it's a little bit late in the season, but um, I've wanted to get out with John Arkwright and Jim Brogan and go fishing with these guys. And the only way for us to do that is to uh, use a side-by-side -side like the Defender XTP, which we just got recently. We want to put some miles on, hopefully strap the boat to the roof of it and go find ourselves some remote lakes and see what we can find fishing-wise. So we showed up at the camp really early in the morning. We started to unload our gear and, you know, get everything ready, get everything prepped. And the weather had definitely showed up as well. I mean, we were expecting to do this trip a few weeks prior when the weather was a little warmer. For this day, it was going to be some snow, um, some significantly cold weather. The funny thing was, is as we're standing around figuring this out and, and looking at what to do and unloading, uh, we realized that John still hadn't even showed up. So when John finally arrived, um, he brought with you an extended roof rack for out your two inch hitch receiver that will hold a boat up in the air. It was great. The only problem was it was designed for a slightly shorter side by side. So we did have to take the tailgate off. Loaded everything up and we were ready to go out and find out where this fishing hole was. we just you know cruised down the road everything was fine nice and open and they had told me oh the trail gets pretty tricky pretty technical not sure if you're going to be able to make it out there we got off the the main road and, and got onto a tighter trail and the special uh, rack for the uh for the boat stuck out just a little bit extra on either side driving an atv or utv with a boat or a canoe on top is a whole different ball game it raises your center of gravity when you tilt going through things, you need a lot more space between the trees to, to get through than you do without. So it's, it's a whole different uh, thing running with something on top. If I was going to do a lot of backcountry fishing where you can't really pull a trailer, and that's important to know, can you pull a trailer in? No, you can't. Guess what? This Defender, wow, it just blew me away today. And I, I'll tell you what, I can't say enough about how well that piece of equipment worked today. So after the um, really easy kind of break-in trail, started to narrow up a bit, a little more debris on the trail because the guys hadn't been out there. I mean, really, they haven't even been out to, to clean up for hunting season yet. Um, they've been so busy with all kinds of different things. And we come to this one down tree, and so we got to clear a tree up. After that, we're right next to this beautiful waterfall. I tell you, to get into a fishing spot, you can call it remote because uh, it's tight out here. But the Defender XTP, I'm definitely impressed with the, uh, the diff lock on it. The smart lock is working good. We're getting places that I don't think John thought we ever would. Jim's got some confidence in me, but uh, John's just back there laughing every time we make it through somewhere. So doing what it's supposed to, but it's tight. It's not tall enough. We're not parabolical the hypotenuse. There we go. Okay. Till the next tree comes. Think of that much weight you could have got. And as we're we're climbing up this, I mean this huge hill, and it it opens up, and there's a you know, a, a sizable pond. Just gotta step back and go, hey, it's not always just about the ride getting there. Sometimes it's the, the, the places along the way. You just gotta stop and realize just how beautiful, you know, things in this world are. Got through the water and uh, found ourselves the, uh, the place we were gonna pull the boat off. The initial lead-in to this, to this adventure was, I've always been trying to get AJ to come up and learn how to fly fish with Jim. Well, 
The wind was about 400 miles an hour, so that kind of shut down the fly fishing process. And I said, you guys go out, go for 15, 20 minutes, tour around the lake, see where it's good, and then, then we'll jump in, we'll come out with you, and, uh, and we'll, we'll do this fishing thing. Um, yeah, didn't work out that way. AJ approached us about doing a, a late season bass fish. Like that's something that Jim and I have never done. You know, usually c come around September, we've the rods are the least of our interest and it's time to focus on hunting. Jim and I get down there and of course we get into the bantering that we usually do and yammering back and forth each other. And uh... I have the biggest, I have the biggest. You need any tips or pointers on how to catch fish or? Oh, we've been friends for got to be 45 years, I think. And uh, we've had the odd time where we get mad at each other, but uh, we always make it up. And there's always good nature dribbling and back and forth. And I think we were only supposed to go for like a half an hour. And I said, to Jim, I said, do you think we should go back and see AJ? Yeah, we just got to get another fish or two and then we'll go back and another fish or two, another fish or two, another fish or two. And then we should go pick them up. I think so. So we started off fishing close to shore, didn't get anything and moved uh, into mid depths and started hitting a few. And then we went deep and actually did really well there at the end, so. They're pretty though, eh? Yeah. You're fairly chunky right now though, aren't they, eh? Yeah, they're beefing up for winter. Little unusual for us to be out in this weather. Like five minutes, you'd be out in the sun, and five minutes later, you'd be in the snow, and the wind was just horrible all day. Things sure have slowed down, and it's just turning into a downright nasty day. Like I said, I can't say enough. This was a fun day, and we would like to got AJ out fishing a little bit more, but boy, it was just dirty weather, and it was hard controlling the boat, and uh, we'll just have to take him back out again on a on a better day when he can catch a six pounder. We finally made it back to, to the landing to pick up AJ and uh, I felt kind of bad about that, but not, not all that bad about it, but. So no less than two hours later, John and Jim decide to show back up at shore. Hey, when, uh, when you guys left and you said that you were gonna come back and pick me up, that boat over there was brand new, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You kind of forgot to come I back. Well, I said not to come back until we got a six pounder. Yeah, well, until you found the six pounders, I was oh, hoping maybe you, just I, wanna... you know what? If I had to come out with you guys, though, I would have got one, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Jim and I have been fishing for 40 years, and uh, we, we've had so much fun fishing. We've seen so much fishing. We've been so many places fishing that that's what makes your life remember, uh, memorable. You know, you can, our wives say, oh, here comes story number 23. Yeah. Usually there's been a few cocktails involved before the story starts, but it's nice to have those stories. The temperature dropped. We all noticed right away, man, it's getting cold and it's getting cold quick. So if we want to get this thing back and, and get ourselves the heck out of here, um, and good thing we did because it started to snow and, and it did set in for sure. This Defender really, really impressed me today. I can't say enough about it. For a thousand cc bike, it just, you know, I think what you have to do is you have to understand what your your ATV or your side by side is capable of. And if you understand that, you'll go just about anywhere. It's a big wide bike, but it's amazing the tight spots that we put it through. For its size, it's got an amazing turning radius. The diff lock on it worked flawlessly. Like we hardly spun a tire in some really nasty conditions. It was a little tight and narrow and very technical in places and very gnarly and rocky, which is what our camp is. It's just hills and rock. And it's a real test for any equipment up in here. I had a great time. Got to show these guys a new side-by-side, -side, show them it'll do something that I don't think they think it would. And at the end of the day, have fun with two great people and uh, great equipment that took us places we didn't think possible.
Thanks for watching this Dirt Tracks segment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button where you can watch pretty much anything related to ATV and side-by-sides.